This is the robot arm, this is the button box, this is the control box, this is the robot control box cable, this is the power cable, and this is the screws used to fix the robot arm. This is where the robot control box cable comes out. The bolt on the left side of the cable corresponds to the x-axis of the base coordinate, and the bolt on the right side corresponds to the y-direction of the base coordinate. Use an Allen key to tighten the four screws in sequence. Installation completed. Firstly, plug in the robot control box cable and tighten it counterclockwise. Secondly, plug in and tighten the button box cable. Finally, plug in the power cable and make sure the emergency stop button on the button box is released, then you can start power up the robot. During the robot power-up process, the robot end indicator light presents a cycle of red, green, and blue lights, and you can start log in robot web app. Firstly use a network cable to connect one end to the internet port of the button box and one end to PC. Next, open C's network and internet settings interface, select Ethernet, change adapter option. Select the connected Ethernet, right-click its properties, select IPv4 to modify. Change to 192.168.58.xx, the last digit cannot be 2. Subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Click to confirm and save. Then open the browser. Enter URL 192.168.58.2 First you need to enter the control box SN code to activate. Check the serial number on the control box to fill in the box. Wait for a prompt to activate successfully. Power off and restart control box. During the robot power-up process, the robot end indicator light presents a cycle of red, green, and blue lights. Wait for the indicator light to turn to green and is always on. To enter the robot web app interface. Login account name, admin, password, 123. Then you can start operate the robot after successfully login.